Here's where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'll be using this dark green, yellow, and red marbled set that was sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get started with our roll for bread. Six, honey oat. Got this loaf of soft, sweet honey oat bread oh, from my good. local bakery. Not a bad start. Am I out, man? Do I need to start going to local bakeries? Is that what I'm doing wrong with life? I don't even know where I would go. I'm not in I'm not in downtown Boston anymore. Right? Like at least downtown I kinda knew some places, but like I'm not there no more. So it's like I guess I'd have to look. Do you have to like call ahead? Do you have to like like call ahead and place an order? Or do you just like walk in? How much is it? Is, is local bakeries like a lot more expensive than normal? Like I'm so confused. Dude, I gotta I gotta look into that. Next up, let's roll for Maine. Four, salmon spread. What I have here today is this smoked salmon dip made with smoked salmon, cream cheese, onion, lemon, and a few other ingredients. You know? It's pre pretty tasty on crackers. It's an That's appetizer. what I was going to say. I or, feel like it's like a, like a cracker thing. That actually might be good. It's the filling for tea sandwiches. But today it's our sandwich main. We'll see how it goes. I, I actually don't hate it. I, I think Next that might up, go hard. for some cheese. Five, Munster. Munster has been one of my Munster's favorite sandwich cheeses since I was a little kid. Three for three so far. Now let's roll for roughage. Four pickled okra and eight alfalfa sprouts. The pickled okra I have this time is Wickle's Dirty Ooh. Dill Pickled Okra. It's a little bit spicy, but not... Wait, I haven't tried to pickle since things have changed. Nah, there's no way. Not too bad. I find that nah, sometimes no okra way. can be a little bit slimy, but these aren't, so that's good. With the cream cheese and the Munster and the smoked salmon, it'll be nice to get a little acid on there to cut through some of the richness. Should balance out quite nicely. Now, alfalfa sprouts shouldn't add a whole lot, mostly just that, texture. Dude, that is grass. Do a lot of the same thing, they just went outside off the lawn, lawn picked up some like grass, this. and this threw it on a sandwich. earthier flavor. All right, let's hit it with some wild magic. 13. Oh, what if we put mustard on there, but you put it in quotes? Put mustard outside the bread. Mustard on top of the bread. Okay, right. No, no, no. We're, that's that's too evil. Small an idea. It's too good an idea to make that small. Just put sauce flip, and then that means that yeah. the sauce is on the outside. It's like a sloppier. Sauce flip. Sauce yeah. flip. That it's means an open face, goes, closed face. That's sand. evil. And the sauce is outside. I want it to be a messy experience. Like, don't. That's go. so yeah. evil. Don't that job. I want to see that's the most evil thing, thing they've done. All right, sauce flip. It is. I guess we're putting the sauce on the outside. All right, last but not least, the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. 14, chunky garlic hot sauce. Oh, no. All right, happy to have this pepper plant hot sauce back on the show. Let's close our sandwich up and I guess start applying it to the outside of the bread. Uh, last time I had this on the show, I said it was a cayenne-based hot sauce. I want to correct myself. It's a jalapeno-based hot sauce. We got our toothpicks in. Let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. No, that's right. evil. Seen worse. Well, it's a bit of a different one today, but I. Uh, that's think actually the so fucked up. Flavors should go well together. Hopefully, I don't have any open cuts on my hand. Got that outside sauce. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is pretty tasty. The smokiness of the salmon spread is nice. It's creamy and cheesy. The pickled okra and hot sauce cut through really nicely. A sturdy the salmon actually looks nice good. The salmon situation. spread. Especially with I give sauce like on the outside. Six point eight. Here you go, Griffin. Is that doing it for you? Sauce on the outside. Uh, yeah, not bad. Obviously it's, annoying, it's pretty but good. I would make this again. Next time I'll put the sauce on the inside, though. It's a refreshingly different one. Hey, make it again. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. Despite it the sauce 7. flip, 3. I think I'm gonna give this one an eight point three, and I'm gonna call it the one eighty fish flip. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Have a great Thanksgiving, and I'll Damn, see dude. you on Friday. Okay. You know, maybe. maybe personally you know i don't know if i'd go that high with alfalfas but uh you know hey at least it was good good afternoon dnd tiktok and beyond and welcome to roll for sandwich the series where i let fate decide my lunch let's go today's episode of roll for sandwich is sponsored by dimension 20. they've rolled out some new lunch for the holiday season including this boggy the froggy reversible flush wait the that's fantasy so high bad kids d20 set the worlds of dimension 20 2024 calendar and the talking Galeer plush. I am completely unprepared for the perils at hand and am deeply frightened. I will go get the coffee. You can get them all at the link in my bio or at store.dropout.tv. What is Without that? Without any further ado, let's roll for bread. Four, pretzel bun. 
All right, another I'm chance for a home run. That scared me a little bit. Whatever the last thing run. was. Here we go. Let's roll for Maine. Six, corned beef. Corned beef is salt cured beef brisket here in the United States. We have the stuff in the can too, but I'd say that's not what most people here think of when they think of corned beef. All right, next up, corned let's roll for cheese. Corned beef's pretty good. Six, horseradish cheddar. All right, some of this creamy uh, cheddar with a little horseradish, horseradish guy, but, but not too much. So just far. enough to be tasty, but not overpowering. Should go great on our sandwich so far. I've learned from over 200 episodes of this show that I shouldn't get my hopes up, but I'll be darned if this isn't an immaculate sandwich so far. Can we keep it up? That's the question. All right, next up, let's roll for roughage. Four pickled okra and eight iceberg lettuce. This Wickles Dirty Dill pickled okra will give us a nice acidic tang and a little bit of spice. Should be a great addition. And our iceberg lettuce will add just a little bit of bulk to the sandwich, as well as give something for the sauce to stick to. Dude, relax. All right, next that's up, a, let's roll that's wild, a wild lettuce. Twelve celery salt. Well, corned beef is salty like as want it is, some, but want some I'll take sandwich it. With this will add lettuce? that little bit of extra umami from the celery seed, and isn't a bad roll at all. All right, last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. 18, Cupy Mayo. We truly are blessed with some divine favor today. This savory Japanese mayo will go perfectly on this sandwich. Somehow, we threaded the needle with this one. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich put together here. This is probably going to be like a get solid Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. Nine, Galeer, you want to give me a hand? All right, nine, five. and let's take a look at that cross section. Oh man, that looks good. If you were expecting Thanksgiving leftovers, tune in Monday, because right now I'm traveling with my family for the holiday. Let's taste this sandwich. Honestly, what's not to love about this sandwich? We've got first the amazing texture of the pretzel bun, that salty and rich corned beef, that creamy mild cheddar with a little bit of bite from the horseradish. You've got that bright acidic pickled okra cutting through everything, and the celery salt and Kewpie rounding it out to make it just a big savory punch that's so good. This is truly one for the record books, folks. We started off strong and I got a little worried, but this is a 10. We brought this one home. Damn. And I'm gonna call uh, it yeah, the corn. That was cutie. really good. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Tune in Monday for the Thanksgiving leftover special. Have a great weekend. Good. Okay. All right, next. Good afternoon, D D TikTok and beyond, and welcome to the Roll for Sandwich Thanksgiving Leftover Special. Let's go. Today I'll be using these LED light up dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get started with our roll for bread. Six honey oat. Hopefully our honey oat bread will be able to stand up to the loads of leftovers we're about to subject it to. All right, Wait, let's what? roll our first leftovers roll. 11, ham. If given the option, I will always pick holiday ham over turkey, but today all- Based, extremely based. All the power rests with the dice. Luckily, so far they seem to be on my side. We'll see if that changes. All right, let's hit it with another leftovers roll. 10, mashed potatoes. Got some garlic and herb mashed potatoes with some green onion as well. Technically, this is cooking so far. This is my, this is my probably what I would do for a Thanksgiving sandwich so far. I this guess is looking great. Call these smashed potatoes as they now you see a little cranberry sauce or a little gravy. Oh, you're good skin to go. left on them. But all I know is that they're tasty. All right, leftovers roll number three. Seven shrimp. Though maybe not a traditional thing. Okay, uh, food, let's bump a the shrimp there. cocktail appetizer is commonplace at many a holiday gathering. So far, I don't think we have really conflicting flavors going on here. It was going it so is well. Starting to become a lot. All right, and here's our fourth and final leftovers roll. Here we go. Two green beans. No green bean casserole this year. It this was year going we have so fresh well. green beans sauteed in butter and garlic and seasoned with salt and pepper. I enjoy green beans as a side, but I think they might be a little bit difficult texturally on the sandwich. All right, now to shake things up a little bit with a Thanksgiving magic roll. Five, roll for cheese. All right, let's get out our regular cheese list and roll for some cheese. Five, Munster. All right, so atop our warm pile of leftovers, we will add some Munster cheese. It was and looking good. last but not good. least, it's the D6 sauce roll. Here we go. Six, gravy. Oh. I don't have any leftover gravy, but what I do have is this can of caramelized onion gravy that looks like a can of soda. Now, why would they package gravy in a can like this? As a food-based chaos goblin, I am feeling particularly targeted. Well, I know what I must do. Cheers. Cold, onion-filled gravy. It has a good taste. Needs to be Stop! warmed up. Oh, 
I just got a chunk of onion. Let's warm it up and get it on our sandwich. Now that it's warmed up, the gravy seems to be gravying much better. The monster is kind of acting like a shield and letting a lot of the gravy drip off. But on the plus side, the warm gravy should melt the cheese. Let's go ahead. And it's just, I think this just ruined Thanksgiving sandwiches for me. I'm not going to lie. Like I'm, I actually feel traumatized. The cheese blocked it from getting the things it actually wants to get onto. Then it just, it just gets soaked everywhere. Never mind the can of gravy in a soda can. And then drinking the soda can of gravy, not just once, but went back for seconds and thirds. Go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. And let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. That's a big boy. Well, we kind of got a little bit of everything today and it resulted in this hefty sandwich. Do you have a particular Thanksgiving leftover sandwich you make every year? Let me know in the comments. Let's taste our creation. It's not bad. I wish it would have retained more of the gravy. Could have maybe used another sauce in addition to that. Is it There's... illegal to move the, the cheese and then put the gravy on? Is that illegal by the rules? Just a lot on it for what ended up being so little sauce. Also, my honey oat bread is on the verge of being stale, which caused it to not stick together very well. So that's a bummer. This one definitely could have benefited from a different order of construction, especially applying the gravy directly to the mashed potatoes and then putting the cheese on. But on this show, we just do what the dice say. And sometimes that just means we learn how to make it better next time. And there we go. The second Roll okay, for Sandwich Thanksgiving special in the books. I'm going to give like this a one two. a 6.6. And I'm going to call it the Refrigerator. Nah, Not the worst nah sandwich, that's crazy. That is the most is better. Okay. That is cooked. That is a cooked rating for how far off the rails that went. But I feel like the drinking of the gravy, we should have made it a zero. But then the shrimp, green beans, I, 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 I just, oh.